Welcome to the Inspired by NVIDIA show. Here you can learn about how to use NVIDIA, ask questions and show off your videos. Stephen Healy is a content creator and facilitator for BeLive TV. I'm John Upton and uh, I'm a video creator and general marketeer for an agency based in the UK called Think and Do. A few days ago, Vikas asked if it was possible to do scrolling text, TV style. Uh, it was sent off to another product, but you can honestly do it. And I think you can see it happening here. So I'm going to show you how to make this video of scrolling TV style text. Hi, so we're going to make this scrolling text video a la TV style. So the first thing I've done is decide what text I want. So I've put myself a little document together here of the different things I want to scroll up the screen. Now you can modify this to do uh, anything really, testimonials, any information you want, get out clauses, you name it. But here I'm going to do it TV style and who's done what. Um, they're meant to be mildly amusing, so that's how we're there. So I've decided what I want, and from that I've been able to calculate that the way I want to do it, I'm going to need to have a scene that's 28 and a half seconds long. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the scene length. You'll see where the 28 and a half seconds comes from in a few minutes. Now remember here it's not 30 it's 50 because they're hundredths of a second. So now I've got my video. Now my pet hate as everybody who's watched will know is this. So <laughs> Mr Princeton's gone. Okay and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to modify oh I'm going to Add my logo. So I'm going to click add it to scene. This is going to be a single scene video, but if I clicked it to add to all scenes, it would have gone on to every scene. So if you add a new scene, the logo would have gone automatically. The first thing I'm going to do is make it a bit bigger because it's sort of a bit lost. So there I've got my start. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to make sure the font size is locked and I'm quite happy with a font size of 90. I'm going to go with the Mooley Bold. It's a great standard thing. The other thing I want to check is that it's centered and you can see it is. So I'm quite happy with white on a black background for the purposes of this. So let's go and modify our text. So if we nip over here, now one thing, although in Word I've got a carriage return, as they used to call in the old days, or a new line, let's copy that, go back into here, and we're going to put that there, Control V. You can see that in fact it does not carry that f forward, that carriage return. Now. When you add stuff, it is in the middle of the page. Yep, so if we look here, you can see it's in the middle of the page by the crosshairs. So if we go to the timeline, we've got this here and I it's the whole length, but I don't want it to be the whole length. I'm going to bring it right down and I want it to start at the very beginning and I want it to be three seconds long. Now the first thing I'm going to do is it's much easier if you're zoomed in a bit to accurately get your timings right. So I'm actually going to go to 175. 200% is just a bit too big for what we're doing but this is perfect. So now I can make that three seconds long quite 
easily okay so now I've got that now I want to add some animation now I'm going to do all this to the first one because all we're going to do is copy and paste thereafter and just change the words so let's go to the animation now I want it to scroll from the bottom and disappear off the top so because of the way it were animations work they stay within the bounds here now we've got fixed size text so if I drag that to the bottom and drag it just shy of the top it's still in the middle but now we've got room for it to move so if we go back to the animation go to the in I want the whole thing to be animated but I don't want it to fade in I want it to come in slide in from down okay and it's three seconds long so I'm going to make this last one minute and five seconds okay so now I've got it coming up from the bottom and if I go to the out and I select this again I'm going to go for the slide and I want to slide it to up and again I'm going to make that one and a half seconds so we've got it coming up from the bottom for one and a half seconds and going out to the top for one and a half seconds okay and let's just put our stick pointer whatever you want to call it there and let's just play it's called the seeker within the program play that there and yes you can see it comes in and goes out so that's really achieving what we want to do but we want to do it with all of our different phrases here so let's grab Paul Smith lighting control C ah it's no good doing that because I'm going to have to do a copy and paste here first so we want to get all of those different things so let's select this let's do control C control V and we've got a new demonstration video here I'm just going to move this one above the logo so that these are all plain and easy to see so the first thing I'm going to do is slide this to the end of here yep quickly done and I'm going, going to go and change the text now I can go over here and do control C come back to in video do control V and again as I said it doesn't bring forward but there we are lighting Paul Smith now when you copied and pasted it didn't put it in the middle so one of the next tasks is to put it in the middle so now we've got that there now I actually want it to do the second thing just as the other thing is just as the first one is first title is disappearing so I'm actually going to slide this to the left 25 tenths of a second so I want to move it to 275 okay and now I'm going to do control C control V and I'm going to move across within my thing move it to the end put it in the middle and come to here change the text and I'm going to knit back and this time we're going to have the sound control C back control V and again delete and return so control C control V oh now that was a mistake it was a deliberate mistake honestly you need to come out otherwise what you're duplicating is here so let's undo the mistake let's go and select here 
Yeah, ooh. I need to uh, change the text back because undo doesn't seem to have done the trick. Joshua Death. Okay, so now that's correct. So let's do Control C, Control V. Slide across again. Slide it to the end. Go to the text. And this time we're going to get Bab Smith Publicity. Control C. Back. Control V. And again. I've got to bring in my return and I've got to bring Babs into the middle. OK. Click off. It says that I'm not on that there. So let's click off here. Click there. Let's do Control C, Control V. And again, you can see. Hang on to the slide. Oh. Now, I didn't move these over 25 second, tenths of a second. So let's do it now. So that would go down to 5... 50. And then this one needs to come to there. And then go down to 8.25. Come back to here. Let's slide this one to the end. There. Let's put it in the middle. Let's change the text. So we're going to take our accounting. Control C. Go back. Control V. So that's now in the middle. So now we need to slide it back. So it will slide back to 11 seconds. OK. So let's click here so that we're out of the text edit. Control C, Control V. Slide it. So here, slide over our view, put it in the centre, go and change the text. So let's, this time we're grabbing catering, control C, control V. And again, we need to slide it back. So we're going to 13.75. OK. Click on here. So again, we're out of the edit text. Control C, Control V. Slide it to the end. Put it in the middle. Change the text. Control C. Back. Control V. Again. I need to do that. And then again, I'm going to slide it back to 16.50 because I want this little bit of overlap okay so now I'm going to click out click so we're there click on Robin Hood control C control V slide it to the end quick quickly aligns Slide across, 
put it in the middle, change the text, get back to my Word document. There's only a couple more. Control C, Control V. Okay, so I've got that one done. So again, I need to slide back. So it's 1950. So I need to go to 1925. Okay. Click off so that we're not in the thing. Select here. Control C, Control V. Slide it to the end. Slide it across a bit more. Let's put it in the center. Let's change the text. We're nearly there. Just a couple to go. Control C. Back we go. Control V. And then we need to slide it back. So you see it's 25, so we're going to go to 22. OK, come off, select, Control c Control v This is the last one, 25. So with the last one, we're going to make a couple of other changes. First of all, we're going to put it in the middle. Then we're going to slide across. And we're going to scroll it to the end. Let's just change the text. So our last one on here, Control C, back, Control V, Enter. But the one thing I want to do here is I don't want this to scroll off. Because this is the end, I want to, it to stay on the screen. So I'm going to go to animation, I'm going to go out, and I'm going to change that to none. Okay, so now we've built it, let's play the whole scene. And I think you can see that's scrolling quite nicely. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some sound and then we'll export it and watch it to the end. Okay, so I'm going to go to music and I'm going to select ambient. So to add my music, I need to go back to all scenes and I'm going to add background chill corporate. And now I've done that, I'm going to click download and share, select 1080p and we'll run the full video in a moment. A brief reprise. If you want to change the speed of the scrolling, you can make this shorter or longer. So shorter will scroll up quicker, longer will scroll up slower, and you can change the overlap. I've only got a 25 hundredths of a second overlap, and you can make that longer or you can do away with it totally. So control of what goes on and how it scrolls up and down, the, up the screen, it doesn't go down, is totally in your own hands. Vicus wanted to know how he could make 
a frame like this. Well, it's not really a frame. It's in fact massed items on top of the picture. So we're going to do that quickly. I'm going to make this a whistle stop quick job. So we're going to change this here quickly to say some words. of wisdom so that's like my title and i want to change the text size so i want to click style and i'm going to make it to 35. Oops, perhaps a little bit bigger than that let's go for 55. And I'm going to stick the words of wisdom up here. Um, I'm going to add a logo. Um, let's add a... Make it a bit bigger. So the first thing I want to do is add a background. So let's search for a background. Okay, so there we've got a background. Let's just simply add the wood. And I'm going to make it fill the whole thing. So we've got words of wisdoms and we've got a background. And everybody knows this is my pet hate, so I'm going to delete that. So we want to put our faces on top of this. So let's go and find masks and we want a simple, fairly straightforward mask to put them in. So I'm looking for a square with rounded edges or some sort of similar type thing. As you can see, there is a massive selection of them. We could have them looking through the window or looking down let's keep going just a jigsaw piece loads and loads of different ones but i just want a simple square and can i find a simple square let's keep going that'll do us that's a rounded thing so let's drop that onto there now i want it smaller than that and I'm going to put control C, control V. Control C, control V. As I said, I'm doing this very quickly, so I'm not worried about perfect alignment. Uh, let's just stick with our three. So let's go back to uh, images. Let's find headshots. And so we've got some headshots here. So let's take this lady. We'll put her in there. Let's take this lady, put her in there. Oh, don't like that one. Didn't realise it had got all those extra little bits around it. Just want a simple headshot. Let's take this lady, put her there instead, replace, and let's find a man. Yes, there must be some men here somewhere. Lots of women. And let's go with this dude here. Okay, don't worry about the eye stop bits there. Now we can move them around a little bit, whatever. But what we can do is we could add some text to them. Yeah, so let's add a subheading. Let's bring that down. Let's make that smaller. Let's change the text. So her name's going to be Frida. And make it a little bit smaller and we can stick her name over there 
do control C, control V, and we can uh, edit him. He can become red. Control C, control V. Let's do it again. Control C, control V. Take it over here. Line it up. And she can become Jane. And then we could add something fancy on here. Uh, textiles. Let's find something interesting. Mm, can't say I'm in love with those. But this will do. Let's put it there. Bring it down here. Change the text. This time I'm going to go here. Good vibes. Show. Show. Shall we even change that to show? <laughs> Whoops. Good vibes. Show. And then we've got a simple video. Let's put our marker at the front. Play it. Okay. So you could do all sorts of animation things, play around with it, do whatever you want, but you can see in principle how that's done. Well, I hope you found that useful and uh, keep safe out there. We'll be back next week. Don't forget any questions, just message us.